Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Tries episode, the Halloween special of Reaper Tries. Uh, basically, I went to 99 Cent Store and picked up a bunch of terrible candies. This is going to be a cavalcade of crappy candy, but I'm not sure. I am not sure about that. Um, basically, we're going to hop right into this because I don't have very much time to mess around. Um, I'm just going to go down this list that I have. So first candy we have is Five Bites. This is a candy bar. Do we... Do we can we look at it? There you go. Yeah, let's hop into this thing. Um, yes. This is made by Excellent Baron Chocolatier. Urgh. Urgh. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Okay, so we have basically a standard bar. Ooh, that's nice and wavy. Look at it. Look at those waves. It's like a, it's like a Kit Kat bar, but not really. So uh, let's give a quick nom nom to it. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's nice and soft and chewy. The chocolate is a little sweet. But you know what? It tastes more like... It tastes like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup more than anything else. It's not bad. Alright. Let's put this down. Alright. So next up, we have another chocolate bar, but this one is a, a little more inclusive. Because it's the look bar. You have to look at it. Look at it. Um, it's a eh, focus or something. It's a dark chocolate bar covered. It's dark chocolate covered nougat with peanuts. Fitting. All right. There you go. So I suspect this to taste kind of like a Snickers. Oh, that's broken. <laughs> that's some. That's some. That's some cracked shenanigans right there. Okay, my I need to make everything go black because my hands are just killing me. I'm trying to open the gosh dang bar. This thing is rigid. My guy. Okay. So here we go. We got the look bar. Uh, this thing is black and white with tinges of brown. Uh, I'm not sure about this. I don't know where the peanuts are, but I guess I'll bite and find out. Oh, oh it's hard. It's hard as a rock. It's hard as a rock. Oh. Oh. oh my god, it's hard. It's really, really sticky. But it's like a Charleston shoe. I love Charleston shoes. Alright, well, I got chocolate everywhere. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's not bad to me, though. Alright, next up. Uh, we have something which was opened earlier, which I might say is for the best. Um, we've got Tim Tam. Tim Tams. Uh, whatever these are. Uh, these are weird, uh, cookie-type concoctions. But, uh, they're... Hold on, I'm gonna have to dip my weed game pad. Alright, here we go. So we got the Tim Tams over here. Uh, you can see the remnants of my disaster. But anyway, it looks like a little cookie wafer thingy. But, uh, let's take a bite. Mmm. Wow, that, that filling comes and smacks you in the face. Oh, wow, that, that is really good. It's like a generic kind of Oreo, well, not really Oreo-y. It's like a wafer. And then you bite into it, and then there's chocolate filling, which is a... Mmm. It's just immaculate. All right. So next up we got these things, which uh, are called nips. This is, um, this doesn't sound right. Now there was a flavor of this that I thought about buying, but uh, I didn't. Which uh, was butter rum flavored. I might find a picture of it somewhere. And yeah, I'm not eating that. So uh, let's do this. Um, this is going to be a double opening. So I might just cut the recording right here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. There we go. So we got that cracked open. And uh, we're just going to pop open one of these things. They're like a Werther's original. So there you go. We're just going to boop. There you go. Easiest unwrapping in the world. But anyway, it's basically like a Werther's original, but there's apparently chocolatey filling in there. So there we go. Let's give it a taste. Yum. Definitely tastes like a Werther's original. Hmm. 
Yeah, that uh, soft, chewy center that they're talking about isn't what you think it is. It's just as tough as the rest of it. One nip is 30 calorie. What the hell, why not? That, what? I'm allowed to have three, four? Oh, whatever. I'm, I'm going to enjoy me, though, some milk. Let me get this down. Now, one item I didn't get, thank God, which I would have filed under the scarily bad category, which I guess is now Rise of the Robots bad, is Twizzlers x Hershey's, which you should go check out Sir Sebastian's review of that, because that's friggin' hilarious. Anyway, next one is one that I've been fearing. This one's going to be terrible. It's this thing. It's called a Paleta Payaso. This is Mexican candy. Um, this has a zip tie on it, which I undid earlier just so I could actually read the fucking name. Uh, but anyway, this is a weird chocolatey lollipop thing with marshmallow and whatnot. But I'm not sure. There we go. Oh, God! Oh! Okay. Get ready for actual nightmares. Jump scare in three, two, one. Oh, wait, never mind. Ah! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this weird chocolatey planet of pain and suffering. All right, let's just take a bite of this poor thing's head. Oh, my God, that's liquid. Oh, that's the sweetest chocolate ever. And the marshmallow tastes like nothing. Oh, sweet Jesus. This is horrible. And I would pluck off one of its eyes just so I can taste this gummy. Which I also expect to be terrible. Can I not actually pluck it off? I need to chew it off. Oh, it's sour! Eh, not really. It has a horrible consistency. Horrible consistency and a horrible flavor. Yeah. This thing. Let me, let me tell you. This thing. Oh my god, I just spilled chocolate bits everywhere. Stay away from this. This is awful. Ugh. If Mexican candy doesn't burn your mouth out, it is overwhelmingly sweet. Good God, I need a dash of milk for that. Oh, that was rancid. But, the thing is, I don't know if things are going to get better from here because we have a mystery item. The Wonder Ball! Um, this is a chocolate ball with a random candy inside of it. With stickers! This is like a Kinder Surprise Egg, except it's not banned. And it doesn't taste, and it tastes probably awful. Basically, you get the tr basically in here is either watermelon, blue raspberry, cherry, or mango flavor. I'm probably gonna get mango flavor. Let's crack this thing open. Oh, just don't package it. Am I gonna cut again? I'm gonna cut again. Do you want to see what you do to skin a ball? This is what it looks like. Um, yeah, you can hear. There's stuff inside of it. Uh, it has, like, these weird indents inside of it. Like, you could twist it open, but not really. So, we just gotta give it a good chomp. So, um... Oh! Oh, look at that! There's no sticker. I don't care about stickers. Look in there. Seems like I got blue raspberry. The chocolate is a bit sweet. And by sweet, I mean it's too goddamn sweet. But anyway, uh, let's pour out some of the um, blue raspberry candy. There we go. I expect this to be kind of like a Smarty. Or something to that degree. I don't know. I've seen this style of candy before. Um, here's the blue raspberry candy. Uh, they look like pterodactyls because this thing is all about goddamn dinosaurs. For no reason. Uh, so, let us eat these without any chocolate on them. So, um. Oh, that's nice. That's like a... 
I like a sweet tart. I, I thank the heavens above that I did not get mango. Because I probably would have thrown that up. Oh god, do not combine the chocolate with it. Don't. Whoa. Whoa, that has a sour kick to it. It's more like a shocker than a sweet tart. Ah. Alright. So, this whole time I've been eating stuff that's kind of... That's been like, alright, too... Uh, uh, uh. But I'm about to commit a huge candy injustice. We're going to Russell Stover's territory. <laughs> This is marshmallow and caramel in fine milk chocolate. I expect this to be horrifically bad. Uh, so hellaciously bad that I may not be the same person again. Wow, this thing, that pterodactyl is tearing me apart. By the way, these are individually wrapped. Oh my god, okay. When you can smell how sweet a chocolate is, through the packaging, that's when you know it's bad. Alright, here we go. Alright, what do they look like? At least tell me they look good. Jesus Christ, they're like chunk. Look at, what is this? What is it? It's like weird, wavy nonsense. Let's take a bite. Oh! Ah! Oh. It tastes like the Paleta Payaso. Po I have the fuck the Mallow Pop. That thing. Ugh. It took me like, I would say 10 to 15 seconds to get that bite down. Inexcusable. Um, wow, that is absolutely horrible. Again, marshmallow just does not have any flavor. And the chocolate is way too sweet. The only good component here is the caramel, and that's just because it's caramel. I, I'm gonna go back again. Wait a minute, look at this caramel. It doesn't look like caramel. It looks more like toxic sludge. But honestly, it was better than the Paleta Payaso. By a slight margin. So, I guess it's not as bad as the truffles, but... Still, Russia Stover's is a bad sign. I need to eat something good. I need to eat something good. Wait, speaking of something good, yes, these are great. I stuck these in here because they're cheapo and they're awesome. Caramel apple pops. Let me just crack these open. These I can't wait to get into. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> There you go. Sweet. You just pull it open, and it looks like a little lollipop with caramel and apple. Oh, wow, that green apple. Mmm. I've had caramel apple in a bowl before. Don't ask where I went to get that. <laughs> uh, I might tell that story in a different video. Mmm. But then when you suck the caramel away, there's a really strong green apple taste. Mmm. I'm going to be sucking on this later. That is great. That is goodness. Alright, well, I think there's only one more thing. So there you go. That's the end of this video. Yeah. I've only got one more thing for this main video. And that's a good old classic Kit Kat bar. Uh, I'm going to toast you off to this because... Uh, you know, we gotta end off with a classic, right? Classic candy bar. So here we go. Oh no, it snapped apart in my hands. What happened? Stupid wrapping. Ugh. Not a Reaper Vegas production without some fuck ups. There you go. So, there you go. To a great Halloween to you, and I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires. Your OCD must be real pissed with me.